Welcome back to The Secrets of Writing a Research Paper. I'm Mr. Ewing, and this is a lesson on how to cite the articles you have found in your research. You can go at your own pace here, so please feel free to pause, rewind, or rewatch this video as needed. Now, before you start taking notes, you've got to create a source citation. If you don't have a source citation ready to go, then you can't even use these notes that you've taken in your research paper. So make sure you create that source citation before you start taking notes. Here's a pro tip. This will come in handy later in the research process. Type all your source citations into a single document as you go. You gotta trust me on this one. This is a great idea. Now here are the basics on how to cite an article in MLA format. Simply, you put the author's last name, comma, their first name, period, a space, the title of the article in quotation marks, a period, and then the end quotation, a space, then the title of the journal in italics. If you're handwriting, you can underline it and then italicize later when typing, comma, space, VOL, period, space, and then the volume number, comma, space, and O, period, space, and then the number, number, comma, space, publication date, comma, PP, period, space, and then the page range, period. Then the title of the database, again in italics, period, space, uh, you'll copy and paste the URL there, period, space, and then the date that you accessed that article. Now, how do you find this information? If you pull up in your database the article, or you just click on the link in the search results, you'll typically get a page like this that has all kinds of information about the author, the publication information, uh, and more. So that's where you can find it. And then if you're using the Michael Jordan article that we looked at in a previous lesson, then this is what your source citation would look like. If you're missing information, you can just leave that part of the citation out. So for example, this particular source doesn't have a volume number or a number number. So that was left out of the source citation, and that's okay. Now, again, if you pull up the information on the page in the database, that's where you'll find all the information you need to put together a source citation like the one that I just gave you as an example. But here's a pro tip. Let the databases do most of the work for you. There's a trick. If you go to that same page with all of the source information and you look to the right, and this may be in a different location on the database that your school provides, but there should be a button that says cite or citation. If you click that in our database, this pops up all different citations for different formats. Uh, we use the Modern Language Association or MLA as our format. So you'll scroll down through all the citations, find the MLA one, and then you can highlight it, copy and paste it into a document. Now though, notice that one part of the works cited entry is missing and that's the access date. Make sure you double check the works cited entry that you pull using this trick. Do not assume it's always 100% correct. And remember to use the note card method when you start closely reading each article and taking notes, whatever piece of information is first in that source citation, usually the author's last name, that's what goes in the upper left hand corner of your note card. All right, so what action can you take now? You should be able to create source citations 
for the articles you have found so far. You should be able to take notes using the note card method while closely reading one of the articles that you found. And you should be able to collect all the information you need about a source and put that on a source review page and keep that in your research container or binder. Now, as always, consult your assignment schedule or check in with your teacher to determine exactly what is expected of you next. As I continue to share the secrets of writing a great research paper, I'll tell you about how to find other sources next, and then later on, how to cite other sources.